Hi all you Ban in a Box users, new and old. We're bringing you a tutorial on how to do a minimal install of Ban in a Box from an external hard drive. In case you didn't know, a minimal install is where Ban in a Box is stored entirely on your external hard drive and only the bare essentials are loaded onto your internal storage. This method uses the least amount of storage space. Now with any purchase you make direct from PG Music, you will receive a confirmation email much like the one I have in front of me. This email is important since it contains your serial number, which is required to activate Ban in a Box, as well as a download link which will allow you to download your purchase in the event that you lose your hard drive. We don't need the email yet though, so just keep it handy. Now let's start by plugging your hard drive into an available USB port on your Mac. If your Mac happens to have only USB-C ports, you will need to use a common USB-C to USB-A adapter, like the one I have here. Now it's important to note that you should only use the included USB cable for the hard drive. If you use any other USB cable, you could cause permanent damage to the hard drive, so please don't. Once you have your hard drive plugged in, it should pop up on your desktop. Let's double click on it to open it up. If for some reason it doesn't pop up on your desktop, simply open a finder window and you should see the Band in a Box hard drive listed under Locations. Once you've opened the hard drive, you'll see a number of files in this window. Starting with an Applications folder, which is where the Band in a Box program itself resides, the main Band in a Box setup program, a license file which tells you about the license agreement for Band in a Box, a PDF manuals folder which contains some instruction manuals, a plugins folder which contains installers for the playable real tracks and high Q instruments. These don't need to be installed separately, they are merely here for convenience. And a couple readme files, one of which mentions alternate language packs, and the other which includes some instructions and options on how to install Band in a Box. To begin installing Band in a Box, double click on the setup program. The first window in the installer talks about the various install methods. Read through this if you like, then click continue. The next page gives you some information about installing, so read through that if you like, and click continue again. The next page then covers the software license agreement. Please read through this, then click continue to indicate that you agree. Now this page is where you get to choose what parts of Band in a Box you want installed into your computer. As we're doing a minimal install for this video, you can simply click continue to accept the defaults. The defaults will use a small amount of your internal storage space for a few things that cannot be used directly from the hard drive, including fonts and the Band in a Box plugin. When you get to this last page, simply click Install and enter your computer's password when prompted. The setup program will now install the required files to your system, which should only take a few minutes. Once the installation is complete, click the Close button. Now we're ready to run Band in a Box. To do that, open the Applications folder in the external hard drive, then open the Band in a Box folder, then run the Band in a Box application. When you first run Band in a Box, it will ask you to access the microphone. This is required to make recordings, such as if you want to add vocals or guitar to your songs. So please click OK here. Now before we get to creating some songs, Band in a Box will likely have a couple messages pop up. It will ask you to update the style list, and it will ask you to activate. Start by clicking Yes to rebuild the style list, then click Yes to confirm. This will take 30 seconds to a minute to rebuild the styles, real tracks, drums, and other content. Once the style list has completed rebuilding, click OK to close that window. Now we need to activate. You'll notice that I've lost the green message at the bottom. Normally if you just click on that, it will open up the activation window, but since it's disappeared on me, we can activate by going to the Help menu and clicking Activate Band in a Box. This will give us the choice of activating online or offline. The easiest way to go is to activate online, as the offline method requires contacting our customer service team to get an activation code. I'll start by showing you how to activate online, but I'll also show you how to activate offline after that. Once you click on Activate Online, it will ask for your serial number. To get the serial number, go back to your confirmation email, select and copy the serial number from the green box, then go back to Band in a Box and right-click and paste it in. Then click Activate Now. Band in a Box will then contact our computer servers to receive the activation code. Once you're activated, you're ready to go. If you have to activate offline for some reason, then click the Activate Offline button. You'll see a similar screen to the online activation window, except that in addition to the serial number, you'll see that it provides a request number and asks for an activation code. 
To activate, you'll have to contact our customer service team to get the activation code. You can contact us via phone, email, or online chat. You'll need to provide us both the serial number and request number for us to be able to generate the activation code, as this is unique for each computer. Once you've received the activation code, simply enter the serial number and your activation code into this window and click Activate Now. Success! You're now fully ready to use Band in the Box. If you have any other questions, or if you ran into any trouble, then feel free to contact our customer service team. Otherwise, thanks for watching this tutorial video, and as always, have fun!